Hey, hey guys, welcome back. Today I want to go through one of the new Frost Knight guns, and it's going to be the Hemlock. Now the Hemlock is one of my personal favorite assault rifles just because the way it looks. Looking at it, I like the medieval weapons a lot. I think Frost Knight has brought some awesome weapons. Um, I know that these, these guns have been out for a couple of days, and I'm kind of late on the be able to get in the videos up, but it's taken me some time to upgrade all of them and get them to uh, the way I want to be. A lot of re-perk, a lot of perk up. Um, but normally in my videos, I kind of don't show like all legendary builds. I just show what it could be at blue or maybe even purple. Uh, but the perks are what's more important. Uh, the perk up is important to get them all to where they need to be for all legendary. But I feel like what's more important, what's even more harder to grind is the re-perk. So you really don't want to waste that re-perk by switching these perks around too much. And uh, let's get right into the build. So for the Hemlock, uh, it's uh, basically, it's already starting with a great critical hit chance and really awesome critical hit damage right off the bat. And that's why I chose to take it to a crit build gun. So here's the perks at uh, the crit damage. I went mag size. Uh, it actually came as energy damage, so I kept it as energy, which is one of my favorites anyways. Energy or physical is where I'd go. Uh, with a gun that I would play with a lot. If I'm not going to play with the gun a lot and I normally switch it out for instances like, uh, say, it's a lightning storm, you know, it's going to be nature or fire. You know, I have specific guns for all that. Uh, if I really want to play with a gun all time, no matter where I go, I'll normally turn it energy or physical and, and build it out that way. But here we go. After energy, we have critical rating and critical damage. Now, if you can see, that's 40% uh, critical hit damage and 372% critical Oh, excuse me, sorry, 40% critical hit chance and 372% critical hit damage. Uh, one thing about this gun uh, is it has a good mag size, especially if you put the mag perk on it. Uh, the range is decent. Uh, reload time is, is pretty pretty okay. It's it's a decent reload time uh, reload you know speed, basic. And the uh, impact 448, impact's not really what it's going to specialize in anyways. Uh, but this is really going to be the the new perks. The new perks that they put in, uh, and what I mean by new perks is, as you can see, each shot fired grants 3.5% shield for 5 seconds, stacks up to 10 times, which you can pretty much, now reading this, I know it sounds a little confusing, but let's just go ahead and say every time that you're using this gun, because each shot fired, its fire rate is massive. The DPS is pretty good uh, for a crit built gun as well. So every time that you just have this in your hands and you start to open up fire, those each shots are, you know, 3.5% for shield. Uh, so a total of 35%, basically, uh, you'll be just having 35% uh, shield on you any time that you're using this gun because, the like I said, the bullets fire so fast. Uh, this isn't really going to be about the heroes I run, but I'm going to show you the heroes I run just because, like, if I'm running a, a, a gun, I want you guys to know what I'm running with. I uh, have Birthday Brigade as my support for the extra 72% hit damage. And as always, you know, if I'm going to run a good soldier, I think the Urban Assault Headhunter is one of my favorites just for the keep out fields and the perks she gets for hitting headshots and uh, reload speed, all that good jazz for assault rifles. So let's get in. I'm going to take you guys to the 100 zone as always and show you how this bad boy works out. All right, here we are in the mission level 100. Just came around to a nice, easy mission. Uh, even though it's level 100, it's still going to have some good enemies for me to show this gun off a little bit. As you can see, though, it is steady. There is no need to ever, ever put a stability perk on it. It's, uh, it's as stable as an oak tree. It's never going to move. It's not going to sway a lot at all, especially when you're going for headshot damages. Uh, but let's just start cleaning up some people. Just to see, look at that, just drains them. Didn't even use a little bit, draining everything around me. It's really not, uh, really, oh god, I, I can't even express how much I like this gun. The look of it, everything, the stability on it. Hey, let's go find ourselves a little bit more powerful enemies here. Maybe a husky husk, here we go. Range is really good on it. I mean, I can take things down at a good, decent range down downfield. You know, there's not really much there that uh, has a chance, especially even though it's a crit build. Now, the hard thing is about an energy gun, you don't really see the crit numbers go off a lot. Now, if it's physical, you're going to see the yellow. The yellow is going to really stand out. But once you make it an energy, you can't really see the numbers all that well. But you can see already that it is uh, it cleans house pretty good. I'm just feathering it too, just tapping a little bit, not even laying on the trigger. There's no need. Really sturdy, really stable. 
See if we can get ourselves a smasher. See what it'll do on a smasher real quick. Oh, there she is. I see her all the way down there. Now, I like the look of these Frost uh, these frost Knight enemies. I think that's real clever of them. Epic always does a pretty good job trying to implement the holidays or the events into, uh, into overall gameplay. But as you can see, it's, yeah, just done. Done. There's nothing really that Smasher didn't even have a choice. And it's even good for, for stuff like this, like trying to shoot through that peephole on that fridge doors. I know the fridge doors bug me sometimes because sometimes I'm not using a gun that can clearly shoot through that tiny gap to do headshots. But yeah, guys, this was a really short, simple video showing you how I built my gun and what I think it's really, really meant to be built for. Now, you guys might not have that perk on it, that, that one where it stacks your shield uh, by 35%. Uh, but you have time, man. I, I, you have time, and if you don't got it, I recommend trying to farm some tickets, maybe do some Frost Knight mode, and try to get those tickets to get a different variant of the gun. Uh, it's it's worth it. Overall, you would be a lot happier instead of something like Slowed and Snared and uh, you know stuff like that. Or maybe Headshot Explosions could always be a good one as well because you're, you're easily able, you're capable of hitting headshots. I'm just tapping it, and it's headshot banging real, real good. So that's, like I said, guys, that's going to be it. You can catch me on Twitch. Uh, I stream. Come hang out. Maybe win a giveaway. And if you want for your giveaway that you might win, boom, this is the gun. You can always choose that gun. You can always hang out, earn some stuff on my channel. I, like I said, giveaways. I try to play with my viewers as much as possible and give back to all the people that support me. Uh, so stick around. And uh, thanks for checking out the video. Maybe subscribe. Hit a like. Maybe comment. Let me know what uh, perks you got or where you're at with it. But uh, this is a really awesome assault rifle. Really cool looking. And it does massive damage uh, if you build it correctly. And yeah, guys, have, uh, have yourself a happy holiday.